Hello everyone. In this post, today we are going to talk about average velocity. You know, velocity is defined as rate of change of displacement. And if that velocity is not constant, it's if it is varying with respect to time, then that is called non-uniform velocity. As the velocity is varying from time to time, in a given time we need to find the average velocity. Therefore, average velocity is defined as the total displacement of a body, how much it has been displaced between two specified points in a total given time is called something like average velocity. Let us try to understand by considering a particular scenario. Say, you are starting from a point A, you are going to a point B, assume that the total time taken for this journey is t, half of the time, certain time, you have moved with a velocity v1, other half of the time you have moved with a velocity v2. Now you want to calculate what is average velocity in this case is. How much distance covered in this case is not given to you in the problem? Let it is not given what is the distance covered by the body in both the times. Let us assume the distance covered by the body in the first half of the time is S1, second half of the time is S2. Displacement. So we can write a formula displacement S1 equal to velocity into time taken for that. And of course displacement S2 equal to it is moving with a different velocity and half the time. So the total displacement is nothing but equal to S1 plus S2 that is nothing but V1 plus V2 of T by 2 and the total time also I can write as first half of the time and second half of the time T. Now we can find out average velocity as total displacement we have calculated total displacement as v1 plus v2 of t by 2 by total time as t. This t and this t can be cancelled and we can get an average velocity of v1 plus v2 by 2. This way we can calculate the average velocity. Now let us say we want to find the average velocity in some another scenario. Let us consider some another case case 2 where body is starting from the point A going to the point B but it is going in such a way that half of the displacement it is moving with a velocity V1 remaining half of the displacement it is moving with a velocity V2 and you are asked to find out what is the average velocity is. I will follow the same method what is not given to us is what's the time taken for the journey. So let's assume the first half of the journey is happened in time t1, second half of the journey is happened in the time t2. Then we can write a formula displacement equal to velocity into time. So s by 2 equal to v1 t1. That implies I can write t1 time taken for the first half of the journey is s by 2 v1. The second half of the journey s by 2 displacement has done with a velocity v2 in a time t2. So I can get t2 as s by 2 v2. Now I want to calculate the displacement total. First half of the displacement is s by 2. Second half of the displacement is s by 2. That is nothing but s. I also want to calculate the time total, first half of the time is t1, second half is covered in the time t2, but we have already calculated t1 as s by 2 v1, t2 as s by 2 v2, here we have done that. So we can add these two, 2 v1 v2, s of v2 plus v1. Now I know the total time, I know the total displacement, I can therefore definitely calculate the 
average velocity as total displacement by total time total time we have calculated as s by v1 plus v2 divided by 2v1 v2 we can cancel this s and s and i can get an answer average velocity is 2v1 v2 divided by v1 plus v2 this way average velocity may vary depending on scenario to scenario but basic concept is simple average velocity is total displacement by total time